Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video is a Saturday reset. We have some cleaning we're gonna be getting done, organizing, I'm going to be getting the bathrooms stocked up and we're also gonna be making some bread which this is the first time that I've ever made bread. But first we are starting out in the kids' bath. We're gonna get the toilet paper stocked up and then I do have some soap that I like to keep around for the kids. So I'm gonna get that stocked up in here. It was on sale at Target this week and I'm trying not to buy a bunch of extra stuff. But when it does go on sale, I do like to buy things and keep like a small stock. Clean the bathroom i am just using the method purpose cleaner i do have a bathroom cleaner but i think that i left it over at the rental house when i went back to clean everything up I'm going to shake out the rug and then I'm going to vacuum a mop. I do put the bath mat in the washer quite often, mostly because my kids just get it so wet that I just like throw it in the washer and dry it. While I was mopping, I did notice that the baseboards were looking a little dusty, so I am just quickly going to wipe them down. Alright, so the kids' bathroom is nice and clean. We got it somewhat stocked up in here. Now we're going to be moving on to the primary bathroom and we're going to start out with cleaning off the shower glass but for the inside of the shower I really do need to use something better than the spray away glass cleaner. I think I need to either try some Dawn Power Wash on the glass or maybe go and get some Zep because I do have some hard water stains on there.
There is a way to make the handle longer on this scrubber, but because it was already wet, I wasn't able to do it. We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I really love the Tree Hut products. I had never tried their shave oil and it is so good. Paired with the body butter will make your legs really soft and silky. We still had some sawdust in our drawers from where we had the cabinet pulls um, put on so I am going to clean that out. And you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy Let me know in the comments how your new year goals have been going. I have been doing a decent job. I know we're only a few days into the new year, but I did start some of uh, my goals before the new year's. I started like right after Christmas and I've just been trying to like reward myself for doing my goals. Like I'm sure most of us keeping like a tidy house or like doing laundry, that is mine. Doing laundry every other day is my goal and to fold it and put it away right away instead of like letting it pile up and then having to fold it all and it takes literally like an hour. Like I had let my laundry go and it took me an entire hour and a half to get it all folded, hung up and all of that. So I did not want to be doing that. But like I said, I'm just trying to reward myself. Like I will tell myself if I'm doing the laundry, like I can listen to like a podcast, I can watch a show. Um, if I'm cleaning, same thing. And just like those tiny like rewards 
help me so much or if I've like ate healthy all day then like giving myself like a little treat at the end of the day so if you're struggling with your goals or just trying to keep up with them and you don't know how you're going to try doing something like that I've found that it works really well we're gonna get into the primary bedroom which is kind of messy in here but like i said keeping up with the laundry so we're gonna get that done first duvet cover and pillowcases are in the laundry right now um, but next week we will be putting in a new rug in here and a few other things like decor pieces but if you have any good suggestions for some long curtains preferably from like amazon um, let me know in the comments because i am looking for some curtains to put in here I got you 
And you got me too. You can ride out the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Someday. And another way that I like to reward myself is just having a cup of coffee. I'll give myself like 10 minutes to sit down. Typically like after I do something I really didn't want to do like cleaning the bathrooms or cleaning the kitchen, I'll just sit down and have a cup of coffee. I also like to listen to Dave Ramsey whenever I am doing my cleaning and he said something the other day, these are not his exact words, but um, it, I've really been thinking about it a lot. He was talking about how instant pleasure is typically something that is not good for you and that the things that are good for you are usually really hard in the beginning and they have a good outcome. And I've just been trying to think about that, especially because I'm back like in the gym, trying to do that, keep up with the house and other goals. And anytime that it's feeling hard and I feel like I really want to quit, I just remind myself that I know it's going to be worth it in the end. So the kitchen wasn't too bad, we just need to get some things picked up, get the dishes done, wipe down the counters, and do not mind my crazy hair. It was hair wash day, I do like to let my hair air dry. Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low.
were sitting down earlier having a snack so I am just going to get it wiped down over here and get the high chair wiped down. All right, so now we're going to make some bread. I've never made bread before, and surprisingly it was, I would say it's pretty easy, um, but it's it was time consuming. Just because you have to let it rise multiple times, and really that was just what was time consuming. But I am going to leave a link for the, I just got the recipe off of TikTok, so I'm gonna leave it there because I feel like she does a much better job at explaining it, it's a lot of steps. But pretty much you just use water, um, yeast, honey, salt, um, flour, and butter and that's pretty much it and it was really simple but like I said lots of steps you make sure that you want to fluff out your flour that was the big thing that I remember her saying is that you need to fluff the flour um, because you could accidentally get too much flour if you're packing in your flour but Camila was helping me out she was helping stir while I was adding the flour and it was six cups of flour and I had to keep reminding myself how many cups that I had put in because I was really terrified that I was going to put in an extra cup. But that's irrelevant now we should talk about with us how come we're holding on was really I don't see the benefits now when you broke my trust so so I was reading through the comments and they were saying that you should use bread flour not just regular flour. I used regular flour and I will say the texture wasn't the same as like sandwich bread, but it was still really good and all of my family, everybody loved it. Trying something new just to pass time. I don't think that we ever could work this out. None of it makes sense. There's no reason why. Why I should fall back to you.
here is how the bread came out. It was so good, just put some butter on it. I do suggest waiting until they're completely cool. Um, I find that it just cuts better and doesn't flake off, but that is pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, hit that subscribe button for more cleaning motivation, and thank you so much for being here today. I will see you in the next one, bye.